I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. Brennan is asking about calorie usage. He says, Steve, how does our body utilize calories? And I think the more you're able to understand this, the better you'll be able to be when it comes to controlling your weight. With regards to a majority of our calorie usage, a majority of our calories are used through metabolism. Now, people think of their metabolism as all their daily activities and everything they do throughout the day, and that's not quite right. Your metabolism, or your basal metabolic rate, or your resting metabolism, as we would call it, is where a majority of your calories are used. And what really that means is, if you were sitting doing nothing for 24 hours, it's all the biochemical activities that are occurring in your body to keep you alive. It's blinking. It's making saliva. It's exchanging oxygen so you don't die. It's producing blood cells. It's all the activities in your liver and your kidneys. It's producing bone marrow. It's all those biochemical actions that are occurring to keep you alive and make you a living organism. So 70% of your calories are utilized in that area. So again, over a 24-hour period, that's a lot of calorie utilization. Another 10 to 15% of your calories are burned through digestion. Yeah, I mean, believe it or not, digesting food takes calories. So essentially, you're taking in calories, and to utilize those calories, you have to burn calories to digest those calories. Gets kind of confusing. And then, the last probably 12 to 13 percent of your daily calorie usage comes from daily activities, like movement. Showering, driving to work, making dinner, posting stupid crap to Facebook. So you can see when you add all this up, about 98% of your calories are burned throughout the day without you even exercising. So 70% for metabolism, about 15% through digestion, and about oh, 12 to 13% uh, for normal daily activities. So that means that we are utilizing a majority of our calories each and every day. So this is why people typically don't have huge weight gain or weight fluctuations. Their normal daily activities um, take care of it. And then if they happen to work out and burn an additional 150 or 200 calories during the day, yeah, they're good because their eating isn't all that great. So they end up eating a little bit more than they should. But the magic is, is that it all balances out. So by the time you're done with the metabolism and eating and your normal daily activities, and then you're working out, and then your guilt or your conscience says, well, I had a huge dinner, I'll have a light breakfast. Uh, so you don't really gain any weight, you don't lose any weight, because you're not really that strict, but you're not gaining weight either. So this is really where a majority of your calories are utilized. And that's why I'm typically telling people, if you're serious about dieting, if you're serious about losing weight, or you're serious about getting ripped, you have to get a calorie count of what you're doing. Because that's where it all begins. How many calories am I taking in? And don't worry about how many are being burned through metabolism and digestion and, and normal daily activities. Just how many calories am I taking in during the day? And even if you don't have a calorie count, just get an idea of exactly what you're eating. And then as the days and the weeks go by, you take an inventory of what you're doing, and then you take a look at how your weight is progressing. And if you're losing weight, you're doing great, whether you know your calorie count or not. If you're not losing weight, then we have to take a, an inventory of our calorie count or our daily activities. So we can create that consistent, rather large, two to three to four hundred calorie deficit a day, so you can begin to lose weight. That is how real weight loss occurs, or I should say, real fat loss occurs. So guys always get all mixed up with my metabolism, and I'm burning this, and, and everybody overestimates uh, how much calories their body's utilizing, and then they overestimate or underestimate how much they're eating. So you really have to get a good count on how much you're eating. That will determine, really, or give you a better indication of how many calories you are utilizing. Now, in my next video, I'm going to talk about how do you get rid of those last 5 to 10 pounds that don't seem to want to go away without having to cut your calories anymore. That's where an understanding of cardio, real cardio, comes in. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart. Train hard.